Psalm 119.33 Horeni Adonai Derech Hukecha Ve'etzerena Ekev So today we begin here with the Hifil verb. The root here is ra, yara, yara, which means to teach. Now if you look this word up in BDB, uh, you'll see that it falls under the main heading of yara, which is to uh, direct or something like that. But uh, Halot and DHC, Dictionary of Classical Hebrew, both list this as its own root, meaning to teach, that only occurs in the Hifil. So you'll notice here we have the contraction of the one Yod Vav into the Ho for the Hifil, and then we also have the third He that is missing. The Sere is the connecting vowel in the third He verbs when we get a suffix, and here we have the one CS suffix. So we end up with teach me... O Lord, the way of your statutes. We have the construct package here indicated by the conjunctive accent on that segalit. Remember, singular segalits in the absolute and the construct are identical in form, so that accent tells us we're looking at a construct package here, the way of your statutes. Next, we get the conjunctive and, and I will keep it. Here we have I call imperfect 1CS of the root Natsar. Notice it's a one noon, and so this Dagesh right here is that one noon. It has assimilated. The 1CS Aleph tells us we're looking at that. And then notice this suffix. It is a 3FS suffix. And I think what we're referring to here is actually the Torah. The Torah. Notice this is also 3FS, feminine singular. Uh, Derek here, if you would say, uh, teach me your the way of your statutes and I will keep it, uh, way is not a feminine noun. So there's something here that I think uh, the psalmist is referring to, teach me the way of your statutes and I will keep your instructions, I will keep it. Next we get ekiv, which is uh, something like to the end is how most uh, translations work with this, but the word has to do with uh, consequence. See if I can spell that. Has to do with consequence. Sometimes it's tra translated as because of. And so what you have here essentially is, and I will keep it um, to the consequential end or to the consequential outcome. In other words, what is the result of keeping the Torah? That's how far or that's the extent to which I will keep it.